What's up, everyone? Uh, well, those of you who are subscribed to my channel. Um, you know, it's been a good minute since I've been on here. Been dealing with my uh, reaction channel, Search T channel. And I don't know, it's such a crowded market that I just don't get no traction whatsoever on it. Not many views. And sometimes, you know, because, I don't know, I'm going to start getting really real on this channel and I'm holding back. I can get, I can get pretty negative and get pretty positive. I can get me, you know, but I'm just going to present myself. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Those of you who have subscribed to my channel, thank you. Spread the word. Uh, if they want real talk, if they want someone that just shoots from the hip, that's me. Cause, well, just cause. I had to take uh, yesterday off uh, due to, I don't know if you can see it. Well, my eye is, my left eye I should say. Take this off. You can kind of, kind of see. It was more redder. It was more redder than that. Ouch. Ooh. Okay. So my eye was much more, uh, much more redder than that. So I had to take yesterday off because it was causing me headaches too. I looked it up and one of the uh, diagnoses is that if you look at the computer screen too long, you know, you're, you tend to not blink. So your eyes get dry and then redness is caused. They recommend the uh, something called 320 kind of thing where after looking at a screen for 20 minutes, you turn away, you look at something 20 feet away for 20 seconds but it could have easily been because i don't know it would be why it would be my just my left uh eye because it shouldn't shouldn't it be both but but i do remember when i was uh my eye was itching and i went to just kind of rub it with a towel my eyelid opened and I and I kind of rubbed my eye with the towel so maybe that's what caused it who knows but it was pretty bad even visine now it's starting to work first couple days visine wouldn't even work so getting better I didn't even realize my co-worker uh, my supervisor uh, noticed it when I came back he's all oh yeah it was pretty bad the other day and I kind of appreciate that because it just goes to show that he didn't want to bring it up because then you, you'll be self-conscious the whole day, you know. So I'm glad that he did that, that he didn't acknowledge it. But uh, I hate missing uh, work. You know, I can't afford it. But my head was hurting along with that, my red eye. And I felt like there's some sticky stuff in my, in my eye, so it was... It's really, uh, it would have been pretty annoying to be at work with that going on. I know in my last vlog I was pretty over, uh, over negative. <laughs> it was just having a bad day. It's one of those days. Even yesterday was a pretty bad day. Everything that could have happened, anything bad that happened, happened. Where <laughs> yesterday I went to go get my car wash and those one of those automatic car washes you drive through. And I paid for an $11 one, and that one gives you everything. Underneath, super deluxe, everything. About five minutes in, it stopped. I still had soap on my car, I still had all this gunk on there, and you know, nothing happened. You know, nothing continued. Uh, so I go, okay. I saw the dryer thing go off, and the dryer things were going off at the end. I drive up there, I can't even feel it. I said to myself, do I should, should I go and uh, talk to uh, a person? 
but apparently he pressed the wrong button and only gave me the seven dollar one i don't know but i was like no i don't i didn't have time to do that i didn't have time to deal with that crap so i just went then i decided i'm gonna go to the regular manual car wash i found one but they were like coned off and one person was using the one that was left I decided to go to the next one, but then the change machine was broken. I had to use get changed manually, but nobody was in the office. So I let my car stay as it is. Today I come to work and my car has all this dingy stuff on the windows and stuff. So hopefully I can get it, you know, get it, you know, washed properly tomorrow. It's a nice day today at work. plane going overhead but uh yeah it was a pretty bad day yesterday stuff uh <laughs> everything like i said everything that can go wrong went wrong but uh i'm at work it's a new day so far so good and i will talk to you later mm, have a look into my eyes Well, like I said, it's uh, much better now. It was worse than that. But man, of all the buildings on my rounds, the one building that there's no power or the automatic lights didn't come on is the abandoned building here. It's just pitch dark. Even right now, it's still light. Like, luckily, I brought my flashlight. It's, people always ask me, why do you bring a flashlight when it's light out? Well, sometimes you need the light. Sometimes it's one, one building or an area is gonna have no lights and you need it to, you know, it comes in handy. You know, what can I say? But the one building that had to be without lights, you know, when it gets dark, it's even more freaky. And I've heard stories about that building, so <laughs> I don't wanna see, you know, uh, spirits coming out of the doors, you know, the rooms and stuff, you know, just to put it that way. Well, my day continues. Check in a little bit later. Do you hear that? How noisy those birds are. So I want to make that sound like when uh, we used to uh, have uh, dial-up. You know, they're all like all all, all up on this uh, telephone. Uh, and there they go. They just flew away. And there they are again. They're all right on. They're on the telephone wires, and some flew away, but then some of them stayed over, stayed back. It's day two since coming back after my uh, my eye situation. My eyes are much better now. Visine's finally kicking in. Could have been a couple of reasons why it happened. Uh, when I threw, uh, I was uh, washing the uh, our company vehicle, and I threw the. Uh, hose down and it just splashed up the water right into my left eye. I don't know if that caused it. Or it could be the fact that I always look at my computer. You know, doing my uh, editing and all that. Could be a case of dry eye. That's what happens when you just look at the computer because you don't blink apparently they say. It's feeling much better now. Here I am at work. And works good. And you know, keeps me busy. Like I said in another vlog, I mean, I'd rather be doing something else as a form of work. That's why I'm working hard to make my uh, this channel and my other channels successful. So I'm gonna try to monetize my videos and 
and I'll set up, uh, if I get enough uh, subscribers, I can set up a uh, Patreon. You know, people can donate. And help me out. But, there's gotta be other ways, right, to uh, make money online and not the, uh, the scam ways, you know, these things. You look them up, and let's talk about uh, those uh, online uh, supposed uh, ways to work from your home, from your computer. I don't think they ever pan out. I don't think they ever, you know, are legit. I mean, somebody out there tell me, you know, even the ones that right now are subscribed to me. Uh, shout out to uh, Doghouse. How you doing, buddy? How you doing, brother? Uh, you know, either yourself or wh whoever can uh, you know, comment down below. You know, what's up with the, you know, uh, these uh, online supposed, you know, ways to work from home. and. It never pans out, you know, it's always, you know, you notice how you read and then as you go down, as you go down, it tells you that you don't need none, no money. You know, you don't need to, you know, put down a down payment or whatever to get kind of a program or whatever. And then, you know, as it goes down, it starts saying things and you're going, wait a minute, wait a minute. And then right at the bottom it says for $99 you can get this starter kit and now I understand if you had to invest money to have those little startups or whatever but it's like don't tell me that you don't have we don't have to like in the beginning don't tell us we don't have to uh, pay anything and then at the bottom of the damn you know web page it says for $99 you can get this uh, you know starter kit programs like that's the thing I don't like about it like but then again I think if they were to tell you you had to pay up up front the majority of the people would not you know they would not you know even bother with that program you don't know if you can see those field birds yeah right there you can go side view. there you go see they're just all over the uh, telephone poles, and, I mean the uh, telephone lines. So. I believe I remember hearing that uh, it says that there is a, uh, they're kind of attached to electricity and that's the wall. But that's kind of, you know, these guys are pretty noisy. Yeah, those are noisy little buggers. Kind of like they're all up there singing and you know just babbling away I wonder what they're talking about you know if we can understand the uh, you know, the language of the birds so you can hear it right like what could they be talking about you know what could they be saying I bet you a lot of these birds can't get a word in edgewise because everybody else is just wah, 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 babbling away. Now that is a closer look. Look at that. They fly around and they land on the, on the cell phone lines or the electricity line, whatever you want to call it. And then they land and all the while they're just babbling <laughs> making all kinds of noise but it's nice to hear you know it's kind of uh, you know, it's kind of unique <laughs> well well here i am finishing up my uh rounds on this section anyway uh, like I was saying about the old at home you know working at home you know make money at home 
And YouTube especially is very notorious for these so-called channels that are telling you how to make money at home. Easy money. And nothing's easy about it. It's a scam. If anybody out there has a surefire way to make money from home and it's legit, let me know. Drop me a comment. I guess, they, uh, I guess the other day, I guess a co-worker is the one that turned off the lights because it was dark in here. And I was doing the rounds in this building at, like, what time? Four o'clock? So it's still light out? And this building is abandoned and it's very creepy. Clear. Not that I don't, not that I hear uh, voices in here, I don't. There are some buildings that you do. And it's one building where you can hear chatter and there's nobody in there. Radios aren't on, TVs aren't on. It's weird because it doesn't scare me, you know? I guess I've gotten to the point in my life where I don't get scared by voices and stuff like that. If I saw like mountain lions and and uh, rattlesnakes that we have those around us on property, I don't get scared. Well, at least that building was uh, clear. The lights were on. The auto lights on, I should say. I mean, uh, should I be recording, you know, at work? The one thing that I know I remember hearing is that there are certain areas that can't be recorded. Uh, video or cameras, phones with, uh, you know, cell phones with cameras can't be allowed in the areas. But, you know, the areas I'm going in, you know. And I'm making sure just to focus on my face. I'm not looking in areas. I'm not going. You can't even be allowed. We're not allowed to go in certain those restricted areas anyway. So, you know, no big deal. But uh, yeah, this is my simple vlog, you know, and you know, me just going through my uh, daily routine, you know, of what I can show you anyway. I'm talking about, you know, the. Uh, work at home scams and like I was saying earlier you know the um, I've tried a bunch and the one I was saying earlier about the you know you scroll down and you're reading what's great about the program and you're going down and you're going down no no money up front uh, it's free or something like that you know and as you go down and as you go down they kind of lull you and you have a false sense of security and then they go but for $99 you know and it's like why do you do that? Why can't it be just clear cut? I was thinking the other day, I go, I like to like go to a physical company, right? You know, sign up, you know, apply with them. And then when they hire you, you go home and they send you work through your computer. Whether, whatever it is, manuscripts, type manuscripts, whatever it is, you know. Um, maybe I just have to look more into it, you know, more harder, you know. Uh, but, uh, like I said, if you see this uh, vlog, you know, comment down below. Let me know of uh, any uh, work at home type of, uh, you know, programs, jobs that, you know. Because there are times where I just don't want to go get up. I just don't want to go out of the house because, you know, I have, uh, you know, severe back issues. That sometimes it feels like someone's shoving a damn knife in my back. And so when I come here and I got to do a lot of walking, I got to do a lot of uh, sitting down. Um, I mean, I sit down a lot at home, but I mean, you know, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, we can, yeah, we can easily uh, remedy that by just getting up, uh, walking around a little bit. But the walking around, 
especially on this rough terrain in some of these areas. It's tough. It's tough for me, so. Well, that's uh, it for this vlog. Vlog, to say. Uh, if you like this video, uh, click the thumbs up. Uh, also, share the video and uh, subscribe. And if you subscribe, please uh, click the bell, uh, bell icon for further all notifications on my channel. This channel is building. I got you know six subscribers, but I'm looking to continue to build. I'm looking to get better at doing this, you know, it's just started a few months ago. Just fielding some different topics and different things I can do and try to, I'm going to try to, um, you know, travel far or travel some other places and maybe even go to like, I was thinking about going to a uh, wine tasting for a vineyard and I haven't done that in a while, I'm not doing that, so you know, maybe I'll do that in the future. Take some road trips, you know, make it more interesting. Instead of just doing just regular uh, simple vlogs like this. But uh, thanks for watching and take care. This dipshit. That's what I talk about when people don't know how to merge. This guy has to wait till the last minute, the last bit of merge lane, then goes in. Why the fuck do people do that? Yeah, keep going. You're going to hit that cone up there. Get in! I swear there's one person inside of me better not fucking try to get in front either. I ain't letting this fucker in. I'll let this fucker in. On the red car. Yeah, people need to be re-fucking schooled and re uh we'll go back to the DMV and get retrained. God, it's the simplest thing to merge. That's the reason why. That's the usual ramp that I go up. And they closed it. Now they made it a one lane. Thing. It's funny how I just kept going. The person on the side of me tried to get in with that guy in front of me, and I'm like, man, I'm gonna let you in because then everybody's gonna follow you. I couldn't believe earlier you see that truck, if you can, that looks like a gas tanker truck. Guy, guy came in on the merge lane, and I'm thinking, what the hell are you doing? A lot of these truck drivers, you know, not all, because I got a good buddy that's a truck driver, but some of these guys, boy, they be acting like bullies. This shit. When am I gonna get home? Usual 19 minute drive is gonna be a fucking 35 minute drive or something.